All right, so we're checking out the only game where you can beat people to death with the power of religion. It's the Guild 2 Renaissance. Single player, damn it. The Guild 2 is one of those games where you can become a baker or a smith. We're not doing that. We're gonna use the power of religion to take over the universe and then behind the backs of everyone that we use to power the church, we're going to be basically killing and bombing all those who don't serve us. Michael Hodge, I don't think so. Vinny Stromboli. Unlike the Provolone family, the Stromboli family are known for being able to read. They're not good at it but they can do it. Friggin' yikes. Wait a second, was that Hitler just then? Okay. <laughs> this visage is just so awful that I have to pick it. I love the stash, brother. This church's name is Donations Welcome. Are you serious? Do you wanna purchase it? Absolutely. I actually can't change the name of this building. Donations Welcome is so perfect. The Stromboli family treats religion in the following method. Either you learn Catholicism, or we will force it down your throat until you do. Luckily, religion is pretty easy. It pretty much religiousizes itself. I like how one of the improvements for our church is the wrath of God. Owning a church is amazing because you get to say ridiculous stuff like this. We're buying this. All right, Vinny, the first thing we have to do is find someone who will marry your mustache over here in the best candidates we can see all these lovely ladies who are all unemployed with the power of the ai my friar headed minions will head out into the world and tell everyone why they should be praising the lord mainly it's just so that they can throw stuff into the tithe this young lass looks like a lovely lady let us dance together in the glorious art of future baby making because that is going to be your most important role. For I need more individuals to make more churches for someone in a marriage. <laughs> Thank you for your kind and gentle words, sir. Yeah, if you keep pulling that crap on her, I'm gonna end up friggin' stabbing you, Martin. Welcome to the town hall, the place where you can get titles. How do you get a title? By throwing a bunch of money at people. Boom. Are you serious? You're gonna hit on my girl in my own friggin' church? You son of a bitch. That was the most awkward embrace I think I've ever seen. That was lovely, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you thought so. Someone has fallen in love with you. About friggin' time. It's only taken four years. Let me get on my knees very slowly and look up at you very creepily. <laughs> wow, we're so close together, she's already melding inside of my body. We are gathered together today to join these two people in the bonds of holy matrimony. And by we're gathered today, we mean absolutely no one showed up for the wedding. <laughs> Yay, congratulations, it's childbearing time. Holy Jesus, your entire outfit just changed. <laughs> I like how the game forces you to match one another once you're married. <laughs> I th train? What the hell? How far does this go? <laughs> because I can still see into the bed chambers. Unfortunately, no one gets to know how babies are made. Darling, I'm going to have your baby. <laughs> I'm glad you know that already. Cool. All right, now that all the baby making stuff is done, we can finally get into the meat and potatoes. Bombing people. Excellent. I think I may have broken Vinny, he is just repeating the same part of his sermon over and over again. I guess this is the brainwashing part. See? <laughs> it kind of gets worse and worse as time goes on. At home, my daughters are prancing around. Hopefully they don't fall into the fireplace because there's no parental supervision here. Ruth, start bombing this mine. Thank you. Just waiting for everyone to go to sleep. Everyone needs to go the hell to sleep. All right, Ruth. Make it count. Hit it. Yeah. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Old Gray needs a way to make thick stacks. You've taken a building. Yay. All I had to do was blow it up repeatedly. Someone has sent you a cake. What? Why? <laughs> Someone has sent you a cake from Carl Trollinger. Isn't that nice? Maybe I won't kill you. Could you give me a son, please? Gerald Trollinger of the Trollinger dynasty died today. 
Man, right after I got that cake. I hope that's not bad luck. Come to think of it, I don't think I've named any of these children. Your name is Sausage. Okay, legit, the money is starting to roll in now. Also, I had the opportunity to pick an ability and one of them is Kama Sutra Master. <laughs> Model parent. There's no way in hell we're picking that one. It's a lovely cathedral you have over there. It would be a shame if someone bombed it randomly. I'm just kidding. I, I really want this cathedral. It's actually much better than ours. We have to have the power of the Stromboli religion in every single city. Normally, Sandra Stromboli would now be able to begin their studies. Studies which... Sandra Stromboli cannot begin due to lack of sufficient education. <laughs> You're not supposed to be intelligent. You're just supposed to be good at making more children. All right, Cathedral, do me a favor and burn. How come it's been raining for the past, like, 30 years? Boom. Congratulations. Vinny Stromboli has been named Guildmaster of the Scholars by the Council of Guild Holders. <laughs> Yay. Can I go to another church's area and gain believers from here? I'm kind of curious at this point. Ruth right next to the guards. It's like no one cares. Like she's doing this and the guards are literally right there. But just, I don't know, maybe throwing down bombs is a normal occurrence over in this city. Ruth, you doing all right in here? <laughs> what the hell's going on in here? I swear to God, Ruth, if you fall to this man, you're fired. You're fired. Never mind, you're hired again. What are you doing, the Kamehameha? Thank you, Your Jesus. Your can begin an apprenticeship. You're not gonna be doing that. Go ahead, AI. Make me a sh ton of money. Pepperoni Stromboli, congratulations. You're old enough to have a husband. Dusseldorf has a church called Tears of the Virgin that it's done nothing with. What the hell have you people been over up to over there? I can torture someone if I'm the jailer? Okay. You must do what you do best now, Vinny. Stand around and talk about things that you really haven't spent any time studying in order to get more people into the church. Everyone's like, yeah, this guy really seems like he knows what he's talking about. So there's there's one cathedral that we don't own yet, and it's called Indulgences Sold Here. I don't want to give away the ending, but if you don't pick me, I'm going to kill whoever you pick in, until it's me. The God, the face. Look at the face as she talks. <laughs> we didn't win. That means people are gonna die. All right, everyone, dogpile the friggin' guild master. Pepperoni is currently being courted and can therefore not be added to your group. Who the hell's going after my daughter? Why wasn't I told about this? I've been trying to set her up for friggin' years and no one wanted her. Okay, that fire was not mine. Holy crap, the money is moving in quick. Jesus Christ. I don't care if it's the cathedral. For the love of God, just kiss him right inside of it. We need to get this marriage thing moving along. Eugene, you have been trying to blow this church up for the last, like, 19 years. Are you freaking done yet? You've taken a building. Wow, that took forever. We can generate ridiculous money with the multiple churches that we have at every single city. The problem is we can't get into any office because no one loves us and there's too many people applying. So we're gonna have to make one of our characters so powerful that he can kill everyone that gets in his way. Hey Sovereign, could you do me a favor and step outside please? I would really appreciate that. Sausage needs to hand your ass to you. Oh, this woman never leaves her house. I'm gonna have to burn her house down. There, you gonna leave now? She's out. Please die. <laughs> you have oh, I don't care. She needed to die. Oh, my poor daughter. Hey, Marshall, guess what? This is how we deal with positions that the Stromboli family can't hold. Let me take my sword out and stab you in the ankle, bitch. <laughs> it's taken a while, man, but we're cleaning out the <laughs> entire office over here. My one daughter's husband is going to be the only guy left in office. How's it going there, Executioner? Walking on this on this trail all alone over here, huh? Yeah, it's not a good idea. All right, there goes the Executioner. So wait, if the Executioner is dead, then there's really no one to execute me for everything I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Bishop, I shouldn't need to say this, but those tithes should have been bigger. Get stabbed, ho. Everyone in the entire family is useless except for Sausage Stromboli. He does have leprosy, but it's okay. Thankfully, with all the money that we're making from 
like peddling religion and stuff like that, <laughs> taking people's ties, I've managed to bribe off the only person that matters in this entire room, this guy. Since he's the only person left alive on the council, he's the only guy that gets to vote. Someone has applied for a public position. Yes, talk up about me, please. Which means that we have no chance of not getting into this position. We're gonna wanna make doubly sure though that there's no way in hell anyone can beat us. So I'm gonna grease this guy's pockets just a little bit more with the money of the believers. There's two people at the whole table. And this guy's the only guy that can vote. I think we know who this guy is going to side with. I'm gonna go ahead and compliment this lady because I can. Take my money, please. There we go. I like it when the thing gets filled all the way up. <laughs> Moved him right over to me. <laughs> I vote for sausage stromboli. I think we all do. You're so base. Um, <laughs> say what a good decision that was. I like that his personality is exactly the way it Ridiculous. should be. The result of this vote only shows just how incompetent this council really is. Yeah, we'll see if you make it home alive. All right, we put in for dungeon master next. I'm over here at the doctor. I have leprosy. I don't know how you're gonna fix this. Try this. Try what? But he got some sort of derm dermatological miracle or something. <laughs> Wait, are you kidding me? I'm healed? <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Oh, hey. There's no one else that's allowed to decide who the dungeon master is besides the sovereign. It's just gonna be a matter of becoming sovereign after this guy. Oh, yes. Give me that friggin' money. Well, I guess give the church that money. How come no one's putting in for any of the spots? Oh wait, it's because you have to go up the line and I killed everyone down low. The position of dungeon master. Hey, Sovereign, uh, how's that new patio you got? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Finally, I made it. Winning by default, he's so happy. <laughs> wait a second. The bishop is allowed to set the church tithe, and I own all the churches? It may just be better to stay the bishop. Since the tithe is gonna be going up, it's time to game some believers. Get out there, sausage. Money is the window to the devil. <laughs> so be, feel free to give it all over to the church, namely my church. If you see another church, you can condemn that place. It sucks. It's crap. I'm also the dungeon master, so you should probably listen to me. You get praised. God praising people is amazing. It just gives you instant, like, full authority over them. <laughs> ah, the bishop seat. A vote will not be necessary. A vote is never necessary. Yahoo! Hooray! <laughs> you should all be dragged to the block. How about you get an eye patch that doesn't clip through your face? Set church tithe the most percent church you can get. Tithe has been changed. <laughs> Welcome to the house of the Lord, everyone. Now make it rain. Oh. <laughs> we need more believers. Glad to see all you guards out here today. Make sure to pass by the church later on. We're holding a special on tithes. 10% of your overall income. Petra, it appears as if though you don't love me with all your heart, we can fix this. You shall be praised. That's a little bit better. Well, we did it. All the churches are ours. We're the bishops, so we can set the tithe as high as possible. And the money just flies. All we had to do was just kill everyone in the way, and it didn't even matter, because all, after we praised everyone, they loved us anyway. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Guild 2. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.